Hey, what's up? I'm Janae, and I'll be taking you step by step through the process of coordinate graphing. That's Anja. She'll be writing the problems up on the board. All right, let's start with finding our coordinates. To find our coordinate graph, go horizontally on the x-axis and find the column where your point is. Put your finger on it, then do the same thing vertically on the y-axis. After that, move your two fingers until they meet. That is the coordinate where your point is. When you write it out, the number on the x-axis goes first, then a comma, and then the number on the y-axis, it always goes in parentheses. When you that is an ordered pair. Now sometimes when you are dealing with coordinates, you will see a graph like this with quadrants. The four coordinate graph is labeled with Roman numerals. Alright, let's start with check out the ordered pair in a four quadrant graph. You will do the same thing that you would do to find in one in a regular coordinate graph. The only thing is you can move down and left to instead of just up and right. Down and left are labeled with minus signs and the number because the symbol stands for negative numbers. Here's an example to find negative 2 and negative 4. You will go horizontally on the left hand side until you see that. Then keep going down until you see negative 4. That is where your point is. Now find your problem is ne positive 2, negative 4. You will go horizontally on the right until you, you see positive 2. Then go down until you see negative 4. Or, or for negative 2, positive 4, you will go horizontally on the left to negative four, 2 and up to the 4. Now if you have an ordered pair of 0, 0, you will your point goes right in the middle of the graph. His point is called the point of origin. But since it is the point right in the middle of everything, there is no such thing as negative zero. Alright guys, it's pretty much covered everything, but if you want to know more about coordinate graphing, just ask your teacher. Okay, then we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye!